We're in the King's Arms. We're doing a show through Studio Salford with Elysium. And the play is called Dev's Army, a piece of new writing from uh, Stuart D. Lee. The thing about this play is that it covers a subject matter that none of us have been able to find exists in a dramatic format or you know, through film or theatre. It's about Southern Ireland in World War II and the differences of opinion that, that existed in the country. A lot of the country wanted Hitler to actually win. The play sort of explores those differences of opinions. Doing any kind of theatre, it's essential really to make it uh, exciting and fresh for the actors so that the audience get that. My name's Dan McClelland, I play Michael O'Connolly in Dev's Army. It's my first sort of venture into the fringe. I've really enjoyed it. Michael is sort of the little idiot boy. He's the sort of comedy element and he's there to break up the guys as well. He, he frustrates Paddy and Dermot something awful which is hilarious at times. It's fun for me to play as well because uh, it's always nice to crack open the idiot tin every now and again. Then the second half of the play, a man turns up on the beach and it's much darker in moments. Without giving too much away, that is anyway. I wasn't very clued up about the situation in Ireland during the war and you know how a lot of people in Ireland were actually pro-Germany. It was very divided. A lot of people had the worry that you know if the Irish did lend a hand to Germany and, and Germany took England, would Ireland then be in the firing line or would it just be a simple case of you know they'd leave them alone? Uh, which is explored during the show and it, it raised a lot of tension and we tried to capture that in the show as well. One of the things I said to him when we first started was if there's one thing that we're going to get out of this, uh, let's get an education out of it. And um, we've, we've all sort of like chipped in and through discussion we found out quite a lot about Southern Ireland during that time. This will be the, one of the tech run throughs tonight. Well we did the play last year uh, around about the same time and we did three nights uh, as part of the not part of festival last year, and it was getting fantastic reviews. We got some, uh, we got two awards, another two nominations, five star reviews. In fact, we didn't get any reviews under four stars, so we knew it had legs. We just wanted to take it out again. This year, we'll be doing four nights here in the King's Arms. We'll be doing Buxton, which we did last year. We'll be doing Oxford, where the writer lives. Then we'll go to London, the Etc. Theatre. Then we'll go to Liverpool. And we'll be back here on July the 21st for one, one last evening. There was a, an audience for it, so we're, we're hoping to catch on some of that this year and uh, take it forward again. We work with all different types of directors and Jimmy has been excellent. It's been really nice to work with someone who's so passionate and uh, really wants to get the best out of everyone and out of the place. So yeah, it's been really refreshing, really nice, and it's, it's really been really good working with them. And with the whole team, I think everyone's really gelled well together and uh, you, can, you can sense that when we're actually working. It's just, it's a joy being here and it's been a lot of fun. Elysian, in the way that they facilitate the Fringe, it, it, all of those companies like that are just absolutely worth the weight in gold because otherwise you won't get a chance to sort of see any of this and, and uh, promote your own work. There's quite a thriving Fringe scene in Manchester at the moment and Elysian's definitely a massive part of that. Any time where someone can get a foot on the on the rung of the ladder, if you like. It's a it's a fantastic thing, and companies like Elysian need to be around for up and coming actors, writers, directors. It basically it gives us a chance to show what we can do, and you know obviously get some experience and uh, build our careers. So yeah, it's essential. I'm very excited because we have done it once before. I do know how it's going to go down, and um, I'm just I just want it to hurry up and be after the first night so I can just mill about with a glass of champagne or something like that and find out exactly what people thought which I know is going to be really it's going to be really uh, <clears throat> a pleasant and nice to, to hear their feedback. <laughs>